members, uh, Senator Francis Tolentino, Senator Amy Marcos, Senator uh, Bong Rivilla Jr., uh, also an author of uh, one of the bills that we are going to tackle today. And uh, is Senator Bongo around? So, huh? I know we, we expect also Senator Suberi to join us later. <laughs> so he's also a uh, uh, an author of uh, one of these bills that we are uh, big to tackle today. So, may I request the committee secretary to please uh, acknowledge uh, our resource persons present today. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We would like to acknowledge the following guests. From the DILG, Yusek Nestor Kinsai. Morning, sir. From the DOJ, represent, uh, DOJ is represented by State Council Charles Romulus Cambalisa. Video conferencing, sir. From the DBM, it is represented by Ms. Jocelyn De La Cruz, also video conferencing. From the DOF, uh, we would like to welcome Mr. Percival Tome from the BLGF. From the CSC, we would like to welcome Attorney Christian Don Molina. Uh, from the Commission on Audit, we would like to welcome Ms. Jenilyn V. Dulay, Attorney Maria Joan Diana Quijano, and Attorney Anne Maureen Senarosa. Uh, for the record, we have also invited Governor Dakila Kua of the ULAP, Governor Presbitero Velasco of uh, the League of the Provinces of the Philippines, uh, we have also invited uh, uh, Mayor Evalio, Evalio Leonardia of the League of Cities of the Philippines. We have also invited Mayor Luis Chavit Singson of the League of Municipalities of the Philippines. We have also invited Governor Artur Defensor of the province of Iloilo and Governor Laxon of the province of Negros. Also on teleconferencing is uh, Governor Victor Yu, the first one who signed in, sir. We have also invited Governor Subiri of Bukidnon, uh, Governor Garcia of Bataan, Governor Lakwasan of Mountain Province, uh, Governor Dalipog of Ifugao sends his regrets uh, from the province of Abra, uh, it is represented by the OIC Provincial Jail Warden, Julie Ann Bellio. We have also invited the uh, Governor Dick Class. On teleconferencing, sir, uh, we have Governor uh, Kane or Kane from Agusan del Sur. Also on teleconferencing, sir, we have uh, Governor Pimentel of Surigao del Sur. We have also invited uh, Governor Matugas of Surigao del Sur and, and uh, those representing from the BJMP, sir, uh, are uh, Jail Chief Superintendent Dennis Rocamora, morning, sir, and Jail Senior Superintendent Michael Angelo Caceres. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Attorney Christian Don Molina and Mr. Cesar Garduque from the Civil Service Commission. And aside from this, sir, we would like also to acknowledge uh, the provincial government of uh, Bataan. They have submitted their position paper, sir. The provincial government of Sambuanga del Sur, they have also submitted their position paper and the provincial government of uh, Surigao del Norte, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Kumsek. Uh, good morning. 
uh, ladies and gentlemen, again. Today we are here to discuss the bills proposing the transfer of control and supervision of provincial, sub-provincial jails from the provincial government to the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, BGMP. When the BGMP was established under Republic Act Number no. 6975, otherwise known as the Department of Interior and Local Government Act of 1990, it was vested jurisdiction over city and municipal jails. Surprisingly, the provincial jail was retained under the control and supervision of the provincial government. The provision the provisions of the local government code enacted after RA number 6975 are consistent with the said retention. The operation and maintenance of provincial jails remain to be among the basic services and facilities required to be provided by the provincial government. What could be the rationale of our legislators for such retention? On the other hand, we have the Bureau of Corrections, which is in charge of safekeeping national inmates sentenced to more than three years and instituting reform programs to them. This state of fragmented jail services results in difficulty in establishing a national standard in the operational management of all local jails in the country to the detriment of the inmates and PDLs. Provinces usually do not prioritize jail services as they have many basic services like health and education to prioritize. And as these services are understandably more appealing and responsive to the social needs of their constituents. As such, most of our provincial jails are in this small state overcrowded, poorly sanitized, some do not meet international standards bordering on inhuman conditions. I use the term most, not all, because uh, in fairness, may nakita rin ako mga provincial jails na uh, maganda rin pagka, pagka manage ng uh, uh, provincial government. And I would like to, pasensya na yung hindi ko nabisita, uh, gusto ko lang isight yung uh, Ilocosur, under kay uh, Governor uh, uh, Ryan Singson. Nabisita ko yun at uh, napakaganda yung management nila sa provincial jail nila. Uh, yung iba hindi ko pa nakita. Yun lang muna nakita ko na maganda. Uh, isa pang isyo sa mga provincial jails ay ang kakulangan sa training at equipment ng mga jail guard nito. Noong August 2016, may nagkakulong na Walong miyembro ng teroristang Mauti Group ang nakataka sa Lanao del Sur Provincial Jail. Kung uh, sapat lang sana ang training at equipment ng mga jail guard, maaring napigilan ang pagtakas sa mga teroristang ito. Noong naisa batas ang Republic Act No. 9263 o ang BFP, and BGMP Professionalization Act of 2004 tumaas ang qualifications para maging isang jail officer ng BGMP. Sinaayos naman na ang Republic Act No. 10575 o, o ang uh, the Bureau of Corrections Act of 2013 ang operasyon at management ng BUCOR kabilang na rin ang professionalization ng mga correction officers Dahil sa hindi nito sakop ang mga provincial jail, hindi naging malinaw ang qualification standards para sa kanila. Nais din natin na mabigyang pansin ang nakakalungkot nilang kalagayan na kahit sila ay matagal na nagsisilbi sa provincial jails, hindi pa rin sila regular sa mga posisyong kanilang hinahawakan. Ang karamihan pa nga sa kanila ay pawa mga job order o JO lamang. Naunawaan natin na kahit gustuhin ng provincial government na sila ay mabigyan ng plantilla positions, 
likas na may limitasyon ang budget ng bawat probinsya. Considering the problem posed by a divided jail management, the authors of the bills under consideration today deem it proper for the BJMP whose main mandate is to manage local jails to step in and take charge of the operations and management of provincial jails. This will ensure an integrated approach to jail management for the efficient delivery of service and well-being of inmates and PDLs. We are open to hear all the comments, suggestions, or oppositions, if any, of our resource persons invited today. Thank you. Uh, may we hear an uh, opening statement of... Uh, the opening statement of uh, Senator Tolentino, if you have any. Yes, Your Honor. Perhaps I will defer first to my uh, two other colleagues, former Governors Revilla and Marcos. Mas uh, kabisado nilang provincial uh, uh, jail, Your Honor. Pag dumasa di, ayaw uh, nabigay sa chat. So, ang daming scholars na hanggang ngayon, hindi pa nakakakuha ng diploma. Ano Kasi hindi pa nababayaran yung kanilang... Na-invade tayo ng... Uh, <laughs> kanilang... Kanilang ng agriculture. Agriculture. Pag hindi ka nagbayad... Ayos yung teknika. Sekretariat siguro. Sekretariat. Ano yun? Marami pang sumusulat sa akin. Ayos. Ayan. Okay na, okay na. Thank you. Thank you very much. Provincial agricultural officer na yan, sir. Ah... Tama, uh, we, we have to listen to the opening statement of uh, Senator Amy Marcos, who was a uh, former provincial government uh, governor of, uh, of Ilocos uh, Norte. Then followed by the opening statement of uh, former governor, uh, now Senator Bung Rebilla of uh, Cavite. And uh, then uh, uh, Senator Mixoberry, you have opening statement, sir? Hello, magandang umaga. Senator Bato, may buntag uh, sa tanan. Uh, no, well, I'll, uh, I'm here to support the measure being a co-author. Uh, I would like to support the chairperson who is, uh, um, of course, uh, coming from the victorious uh, approval of your bill last night. Uh, congratulations once again. And this is a complimentary measure because uh, makakatulong talaga to sa pag-professionalize uh, no, ng ating jail system. Although, as you said, uh, Chairperson, marami talagang, um, uh, meron din marami mga provincial jails na magandang pagtakbo, di ba? magandang paghandle ng mga provincial uh, LGUs. Although, I've also gotten uh, reports from other provincial LGUs that they would like to use their resources elsewhere. So, yes. para makatipid din po sila sa paggastos. Uh, si Tatay po, as you know, is also the provincial governor of Bukidnon. Malaki din ang ginagastos nilang resources to maintain the uh, provincial jail. So it makes sense na uh, mailipat yung resources na yan to anti-poverty measures, to other infrastructure, uh, kung may transfer po natin ito sa um, BJMP. So um, I'm fully supportive of this measure, uh, obviously as, a co -author, as, a, as one of the authors, and I support the chairman 100%, uh, sir. So, makikinig na lang po muna ako, uh, uh, Boss Bato, and I will listen to the, uh, of course, the statements of the other uh, resource persons. Maraming salamat, uh, uh, Sir Bato. Yeah, so thank you, Majority Leader. Before I uh, recognize uh, Senator Aime, I just would like to make this manifestation na maswerte lang uh, ako dito sa Committee on Public Order and uh, Dangerous Drugs na palaging uh, na priority ng uh, majority leader yung aking mga bills dahil karamihan ng bills na tinatakil ko dito ay puro rin siya ang co-author uh, marami dito siya ang co-author kaya pasensya ka na si Dr. Tolentino ha kung uh, nahuhuli yung sayo nauna yung akin nagagawin ko na rin co-author si majority leader ha si Biri okay uh, may I recognize si Dr. Uh, I mean Marcos then na uh, Senator Bong uh, Rebilla, afterwards, after uh, Senator Marcos. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, uh, thank you very much, and I'd like to greet uh, 
all uh, my uh, fellow governors from uh, before. Ang kasama ko mula pa sa Kabataan Barangay, si uh, Governor uh, Santi Cane. And of course, yung mga barkada natin, Governor Pimentel, uh, all the governors here are here. Uh, Governor Bong Lacson, I heard, was here. And uh, of course, our senators this morning. Um, this is a long-held dream of many of the LGUs that we transfer the control and supervision of provincial and sub-provincial jails. So, sigurado sa suerte. Sa suerte ni uh, uh, Apo Bato, uh, who's really on a roll, on a legislative role, I'm certain that this will pass very quickly. Siguro ang uh, itatanong ko na lang, anong mangyayari sa mga employees of the province who are currently working at the provincial and sub-provincial offices and those who don't qualify for BJMP absorption, uh, they should be taken over in the um, in the um, provincial government or uh, other such arrangements as may be uh, uh, made so that there's no fallout of unemployed, particularly uh, given the suffering already endured uh, by uh, many of them during this pandemic. So we cannot add to that with unemployment, uncertainty, and anxiety. Yun lang ang habol ko na siguraduhin natin na maasikaso pa rin sila. But uh, like Senator Subiri, our majo, uh, full support po for this bill, both as a former governor and as your colleague in the Senate. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh... Senator, I mean, Marcos, before I, uh, I give the floor to Senator Bong Rebilla, I would like to uh, recognize the presence of uh, Yusek uh, Echeberry of uh, the ALG um, uh, online. Siya. And uh, also, Senator Bongo, uh, after uh, Senator Bong Rebilla, uh, we will uh, listen to the opening statement of Senator Bongo. Uh, Senator Bong Rebilla, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair, at sa lahat ng ating mga magigiting na gobernador na kasama natin dito ngayon, yung ating mga panawin. Good morning sa inyo lahat. Mr. Chair, thank you for calling this hearing to discuss our legislative proposals seeking to transfer the supervision and management of uh, provincial and sub-provincial jails from provincial government to the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, or BJMP. Sa papamagitan po ng, uh, ng ating uh, panukalang batas na ito, nais po nating uh, ipatupad ang uh, sentralisado, organisado, maayos at uh, makatao na pamamahala sa ating, uh, sa ating mga bilangguan. We want to put a responsive centralized system to our local jails by entrusting the provincial and sub-provincial jails to BJMP who are at present handling the municipal, the municipal, city, and district jails. I uh, understand that there are varying positions and recommendations regarding this matter, and I would like to, uh, to thank the committee for providing this venue to hear them all and to enable us to craft a law that will, uh, that will be beneficial to all the stakeholders and, the, uh, and to our country. Apart from discussing these bills, I also hope that we would uh, have an opportunity to be uh, apprised on the current situation of our jail facilities and our, and our persons deprived of liberty, the PDLS. Uh, alam po natin lahat na hindi exempted ang ating mga bilangguan sa hagupit ng uh, pandemyang COVID-19. Sa katunayan, mas mahirap ang kalagayan nila sapagkat ang ating mga PDL ay uh, hindi uh, kakayaning mag-social distancing, lalo na itong dahil sa bilangguan ay talagang uh, congested na. Marami ng uh, PDLs at mga kawani ng bilangguan ng natamaan ng sakit na ito sa pamamagitan ng agaran at, at epektibo, uh, epektibong mga hakbang, sikapin po natin na uh, hindi matag madagdagan pa ang bilang nila. Um, Mr. Chair, bilang mga uh, dati pong gobernador, alam ko po yung kalagayan ng ating uh, provincial jail. Talagang siksika na yan at kaya kailangan talagang uh, tulungan natin sila. At kung maililipat po natin to sa BJMP, at least eh, malaki-laki pong pondo. At tulad ng nabanggit ni uh, Senator Migs kanina, yung pondo na nakalaan dyan ay eh, magagamit pa ng mga 
ng ating uh, LGU sa ibang mga programa nila. So again, Mr. Chair, thank you very much for hearing this uh, ano, itong ating panukalang batas na ito. At uh, again, maraming mag uh, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Thank, thank you, you uh, Senator uh, Bong Rebilla. Um, alam, alam mo talaga yan, dahil you're a former governor. Uh, may I give the floor to Senator Bongo? Senator Bongo? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, good morning. Uh, I fully support the initiative to transfer uh, jurisdiction over all uh, some provincial and provincial jails to the BJMP. Through this uh, initiative, management of our correctional facilities will be more efficient and the welfare of our prisoners will be better uh, protected. As in uh, all other government agent offices, a unified uh, standard of management for our uh, correctional facilities will go a long way towards ensuring proper management. Under our current uh, laws, uh, local jails are currently under the control of two different authorities. Uh, city, municipal, and district jails are under the BJMP, while uh, provincial and sub-provincial jails are supervised by the provincial government. This uh, initiative before us will uh, put all our jails under the management of the BJMP. This will uh, take it a long way towards ensuring proper management Meron ka atang impostor dito, Senator Bongo. Si, ano yan? Ano ulit? Si Artyap yan, Artyap. <laughs> okay na? Please continue, <laughs> Senator Bongo, okay na. So, ano, take two, take two. Please, please, go ahead. Okay. Uh, as in all other government offices, a unified uh, standard of management for our correctional facilities will go a long way towards ensuring proper management. Under our current laws, local jails are currently under the control of two different authorities, city, municipal, and district jails are under the BJMP, while provincial and sub-provincial jails are supervised by the provincial government. This initiative before us will put all our jails under uh, the management of the BJMP. This will uh, make it easier to establish and implement an integrated approach to jail uh, management. However, this, uh, let this also be a challenge to the BJMP. This will uh, only succeed if the BJMP is up to the task. With your additional mandate, we in the legislative uh, hope that you will do what is necessary to ensure that the goals of this initiative will be uh, attained. Uh, According to November 19 data, there are 61 provincial jails in the country. Total jail population is around 33,000. For this initiative, BGMP would need to hire and train around 14,500 additional person. Anyway, I will uh, ask questions uh, later. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Bongo. Well, uh, uh, alam natin na yung mga mga andito ngayon na uh, physically present na resource persons uh, nandito sa committee hearing natin ay puro ito mga pro supportive ito sa ating uh, uh, bill so gusto ko lang munang pakinggan muna unahin natin kasi nagkakahiya sa mga gobernador na paghihintay na matagal alam natin mga busy ito sila pwede natin pakinggan muna si gobernador uh, uh, Ike Pimentel sir gobernador good morning May we hear from you? Uh, Mr. Chair, Idol Senator Bato, uh, kay Senator Bongo, Senator Subiri, Rata Senator, uh, sa mga pero governor, uh, we fully support ng inyong panukala kasi sa totoo lang, pati kami rito sa Surigao de Sur, nahihirapan na. Uh, isa pa, kulang kami sa armas. Wala rin kaming kasakyan. So, tapos nagkakagulo minsan kasi 
dalawa ta, tama yung sinabi niyo po na dalawa ang ano diyan eh nagdadala BGMP at saka yung sa province minsan hindi nagkaka ano man, lalo na pag transfer ng mga prisoners at lahat so kami uh, kahapon lang pumunta rito sa akin yung uh, Karaga Regional Director ng BGMP nag-usap na kami anyway yung mga sub uh, provincial jail namin meron na naman kaming deed of donation uh, ang inaayos ko na ngayon, yung deed donation ng provincial jail, yung lupa, lahat, para maturn over namin sa kanila. Umukay naman yung director, papahalam na niya sa General Iralata. Uh, Maraming salamat po. Thank you, uh, Governor Ike uh, Pimentel. Uh, tataka ko dito sa Kumsek, o kung ba ito? Is this just a uh, coincidence or uh, sinadya niyong inibitahan itong mga gobernor ng Caraga, gobernor ng, uh, ng Cordillera, kung saan malakas ako doon. Napakalakas ko sa mga region na ito, yung uh, Caraga at Cordillera. Bakit uh, sila inibitahan niyo? Pinsidens uh, na siguro ito, no? <laughs> But anyway, thank you. Thank you for that. Chairman, Chairman, uh, Chairman, si... Dito. Yes, go ahead. Senator Mix. Chairman, yeah, gusto lang ako, i-greet ang ako mga silingan din sa Northern Mindanao, sa Caraga, Governor Santi, hello, oh, Governor Pimentel, may yung buntag, sir. May buntag. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. thank you Chairman. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Mix. Uh, so, Governor Pimentel? Governor Pimentel? Governor Ike? So, kung uh, yung luti ninyo doon ng uh, provincial jail, okay lang sa inyo kung ibigay nyo yan sa BGMP kung maturnover na natin itong pangsyon na ito? Uh, Senator, uh, actually, ginagawa na namin ng paraan pero yung tatlong sub-provincial jail namin, donated na. Ito na lang provincial jail talaga na malaki. Yung inaayos ko, by October, madonate na namin sa kanila kasi nag pinapa-locate ko pa talaga kung saan. Tapos i-donate na namin by October kasi yun lang hindi na-donate para ma-turnover na namin sa kanila lahat. Ayos. Very good. Maraming salamat na Gobernur Ike. Uh... Hindi pa nagawa yung batas na ito. Ginagawa na nyo yung uh, initiative nyo dyan sa baba. Maraming salamat po sa ito. Ayan. Maraming salamat din po. Ng lahat ng gobernor. Ang galing. Salamat po. Now, uh, I would like to give the floor to Gobernur Sante Kane. May uh, silingan. Silingan in uh, Agusan Sur. Yeah, niya, Gobernur. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Senator Bato. Idol ng mga idols. And to the other uh, senators uh, online, like uh, Senator Aimee Marcos, Senator Francis Atol Tolentino, Senator Mig Zubiri, and Senator Bong uh, Rivilla. By the way, Senator Bong, I am very happy to see that you have fully recovered from COVID-19. I thank you very much, Governor. <laughs> very happy po. At sa lahat po nang nandito ngayon, Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, ah, si Senator Bongo din po nga po pala, Senator Bong. Uh, sa lahat po ng uh, authors ng bill na to, uh, personally, I have waited for this bill for the longest time. Kasi nga po, uh, it is not easy to manage a provincial jail na siksikan yung Uh, facilities namin dito. When COVID-19, uh, nung dumating yung COVID-19, ang pinakauna kong concern yung provincial jail namin kasi nga, uh, it has already more than doubled its capacity. So yung social distancing talagang uh, hindi mo maiwasan. Tama po si uh, Senator Zubiri when he said na talagang uh, at saka si Senator Bong na sinabi niya na ano, Talagang siksikan ang mga provincial jails at hindi natin may iwasan yan. And uh, personally, I am very, very supportive of, the, of this bill. Uh, ang tanong ko nga lang po, bakit ngayon lang ito dapat noon pa to? I hope this bill will uh, 
amend the provisions of the local government code mandating that provincial jail and sub-provincial jails will be under the provincial government. So this will take uh, uh, to amend some provisions of the local government code. At uh, ang tanong ko lang po, uh, Mr. Chairman, katulad din po sa tanong ni Senator Aimee, paano po yung mga empleyado namin dyan, uh, kasalukuyang empleyado, if... Uh, the BJMP will uh, take over its uh, management and operations. Will they be absorbed by the BJMP? At kung hindi naman po maabsorb, hanapan po namin ng paraan na hindi sila mawalan ng trabaho para hindi sila makakontribute sa unemployment dito sa province, baka i-absorb na lang po namin dito sa security uh, ng uh, provincial government. And another thing po, uh, gustong gusto po namin sa Agusan del Sur na mag-take over ang provincial jail uh, by the BJMP. Kasi yung nga po, yung provincial jail namin is located just within the heart of the provincial government center. And it is owned by uh, the provincial government. Kung matutuloy na po ito, I will have to ask the Sangguniang Panlalawigan for an authority for the governor to have this area, including its facilities, donated in favor of the BJMP. Yo lang po, sir, Mr. Chairman, and the rest of our senators, maraming salamat for supporting the bill of uh, Senator Bato at sa lahat ng mga co-authors. Maraming salamat po at uh, God bless po sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Maraming salamat, uh, Governor uh, Kane. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, talagang uh, so very supportive ka. Uh, alam ko, kahit hindi ka pa nagsalita, alam ko kung sinusuportahan mo ito. I uh, would like to recognize uh, Senator Mick Zuberi, you're raising your hand. Ah, wala, wala pala. So, yung uh, tanong mo po, at sagutin ko lang muna yung tanong ni Governor sa Kane regarding the uh, employees, no? Just in case mas nabatas ito, na ilaga, may nakalagay po doon sa provision ng uh, bill ni Senator Bong Rebilla na meron tayong uh, three-year uh, uh, huh? three years uh, transition period. And uh, maybe we can uh, adjust this uh, Sabi doon sa bill ni Senator Bong Rebilla, within six months, yung physical assets, yung uh, turnover uh, period, six months. Pero doon sa personnel, three years daw. Pero baka pwede nating baguhin dahil uh, ito nga, kagaya yung nangyari sa PNP, from INP, PCINP, naging, uh, naging PNP, uh, hindi po matanggap yung mga kulang ng qualifications. So kung gusto talaga natin i-accommodate, haba-habaan natin yung uh, uh, transition period para yung hindi pa nakatapos ng halimbawa, yung mga JO ninyo dyan pero magaling naman, then uh, pwede magiging uh, uh, jail officer. Uh, bigyan natin sa mga panahon na makapag-acquire uh, ng bachelor's degree. Kasi four years man yung bachelor's degree, di ba? Then pag uh, nakagraduate sila, then qualified sila, pwede natin i-absorb. So, yan yung nakikita ko. Pagkagaya ng ginawa ng PNP law. Implementation ng PNP law. So, po pwede siguro yan, uh, Gobernur. Huwag kang mag-alala. Anyway, sinabi mo naman na kung talagang hindi mag-qualify, you are willing to absorb para kawawa naman yung mga tao natin na mawala ng trabaho. But anyway, uh, gagawin natin yung transition period na maganda para ma-accommodate sila. Mr. Chair, yung three years... Yung, Mr. Chairman, Senator Bong. Go ahead, uh, Senator Bong. Yes, uh, yung three years na transition period, pwede, pwede pa naman natin mabago yun. At least kaya nga nandito tayo para pag-usapan natin. One year lang, uh, Governor Santiago. Just one year transition period. Ang bilis, ah. Uh, so, so, kaya nga po, mas maganda po ilatag po natin dito kung ano yung mga gusto nyong gawin na uh, baguhin dito sa or may isasuggest kayo para magawa natin at ang ating pong chairman ay napakagaling po niyan. So, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Yung nga, nakasaka dito sa 
Uh, the, go ahead, uh, Governor Ike. You have the floor. Uh, Mr. Governor Mr. Ike. Uh, hihingi lang po ako ng tulong sa inyo na mapasilitate yung turnover kagad ng ano. Kasi ang Sorsogon at saka Quezon, uh, may mowa na sila sa BGMP, tinunover na nila. Uh, sila na magpapatakbo. So magre-request ako ng tulong nyo po kay General Eral na uh, gagawa rin kami ng mowa. Turnover ko na yung provincial general ka subject kamukha ng ginawa sa Sorsogon at saka Quezon. So pwede po. Yes, uh, noted po, Gobernur Ike, uh, andito si Jail Chief Superintendent Dennis Rocamora, the representative of uh, General Iral. O, noted na po niya na hindi ka na makapaghintay sa batas na ito. Gusto mo na talaga na, na mapirmahan yung muwa. <laughs> Pagmamadali na si Gobernur Ike, ayusin ninyo ha. I-facilitate ninyo yung muwa. Eh, yun pa, uh, hindi na nangangailangan ng batas pala ito. Pero gawin pa natin batas para... Uh, ma properly lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Ike. Thank you. Uh, I would like also to recognize the presence of Miss Mickey Monterde of the League of Cities. Andito siya. Good morning. Uh, Good morning, Mr. Chair. Yes, po. Hi, Mr. Chair. Ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chair, I would like to extend our apologies as our national chairman, Mayor Bing, is in an equally important engagement as Bacolod City has been placed to MECQ. However, sir, upon our perusal of the bills, um, we, we, we fully support the bills and we actually find that there will be no movement as for the city jails because as according to the local government code, um, city jails are already under the um, under the authority of BJMP. Hence, uh, Mr. Chair and um, the rest of the members of the committee, you can count on the League of Cities to fully support um, the legis this legislative intent. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat, ma'am, uh, Mickey Monterde. Uh, Pakiregards mo ako kay... Pa na? kay Mr. Chair. Your big Mr. Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead. Mr. Chair, uh, nakita ko lang dito sa sa bill, proposed measure, that the electric bills, dinito, expenses and other utility expenses, will still be shouldered by the provincial governments. Siguro, BJMP na yun. Uh, as, as we, perhaps we, we can hear the comments of the BJMP personnel. And while Senator Marcos is still here, I'd like to take this opportunity in, in perhaps uh, conceptualizing something, foreseeing something that should now be institutionalized. And I'm referring to uh, something which refers to elections. Uh, it, it has happened, uh, and, and this is the experience of most governors and even mayors, that those residing temporarily while waiting for transfer or even under investigation uh, pending trial are still allowed to vote. As as 2022 approaches, we should we should have a a concrete policy on this, on where should they register and vote. Those uh, temporarily residing in 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 the provincial jails uh, should should be treated not 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 yet as convicted felons, and they still have the right to vote. So I'm 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 looking at uh, encouraging Senator Marcos, who is likewise the chair of the Committee on Electoral Reforms, to perhaps uh, craft a concrete policy on this: where they should vote. Should should they be uh, voting in in the in the provincial uh, capital near the provincial elec election officer office, or uh, should they be allowed to vote? where they were originally registered, but this would be administratively expensive. So uh, I, I, I take this opportunity, Mr. Chairman, to, to voice out that uh, policy concern that perhaps uh, the Committee on Electoral Reforms, Senator Marcos is here, should, should likewise uh, take into consideration uh, having a standard policy on where, where these prisoners should vote, especially uh, as we approach 2022. And as COMELEC, right now is uh, announcing that they have an ongoing 
uh, registration process. So, yun lamang po, Mr. Chair, and uh, for the governors, uh, malapit na po yung implementation siguro before 2022 ng Mandana's ruling. So, you will have a windfall, windfall in terms of uh, uh, funds pag nawala itong provincial jail and then you have the Mandana's ruling increase in internal revenue allotment. Salamat po, ma Mr. Chairman. Thank yes, you, Senator Tolentino. Can I have a quick reaction from uh, Senator Amy Marcos, ma'am? Well, yes, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And thank you to our colleague, uh, Senator Tolentino, who uh, brought to uh, mind this issue of whether prisoners will vote. Uh, already we have uh, early voting proposals that involve the, sen the senior citizens, PWD, and uh, the prisoners have been discussed together with the AFP and PNP. So thank you for the reminder, and I will certainly put that into the agenda as urgent. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Senator. I mean, Marcos, ma'am. Uh, from here, uh, may I give the floor to Senator Victor Yu? Ah, go Governor, Governor Victor Yu. Go. Nawala ka, Gob. Sinasabi ko lang yung pangalan mo, nawala ka na. Andiyan na. Gob, uh, can we hear from you? Uh, good, mi good morning, Mr. Chairman, Senator. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Senator uh, Tolentino, I mean, Marcos, uh, Senator Bongredilla, Senator Mix. I'm contact sa inyong tanang, Governor, I'm contact. Uh, thank you for inviting me here, uh, Mr. Chair, for this hearing. And I will uh, signify my support to this uh, measure. Actually, I already uh, requested uh, last year pa na ma ma manage ng BJMP yung provincial jail namin. Because my observation, Mr. Chair, uh, mas maganda yung management ng BJMP kasi... Uh, very professional, unlike here in our province, na medyo yung warden, hindi, hindi ganun yung, ano nila, yung focus nila sa, as per, uh, hindi, we cannot say that management is bad, no? But uh, in enforcing, enforcing the, the law sa mga jail, especially sa pag-guard, uh, medyo mas better yung sa BJP. And we have several issues here, Mr. Chair, but uh, I don't want to discuss it further. Uh, um, I, sa gaya sa sinabi ko, uh, full support ako dito, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat, uh, Governor Ryu. In fact, I have read your uh, position paper. Uh, maganda sa yung position paper niyo. Marami kang uh, sinabi doon. Uh, at uh, sumusuporta ka dito. Maraming salamat. Going back to the issue posed by uh, Senator Tolentino regarding the uh, expenses during the transition period na six months, uh, may we hear from BJMP kung kakayanin nyo yan, kung magiging nationwide ito, ha? hindi lang ito isa, dalawang uh, provincial jails, kundi lahat ng provincial jails, once uh, mapasa na itong batas na ito, six months na transition period, kayo daw ang mag-sagot uh, uh, sa gastusin. Kaya ba ninyo? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, operational, this, this is uh, about operations. When you say operations, kasama na dyan yung sweldo ng mga employees, pagpapakain sa mga priso, pag-maintain ng uh, prisuhan, yung light water uh, expenses, Kaya niyo sagutin yan within uh, yung six months na yan na transition period or sir, we eh, pagbigay, eh, pag, eh, doon muna natin ibigay sa LGOs? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, we were informed that uh, on the draft deal, there is a three years uh, transition period. And during that transition period, while the provincial jails are not yet fully uh, taken over by the Bureau of Jail Management and Technology, uh, utilities uh, like uh, electricity bills and the likes, should be, uh, for the meantime, during the transition, be shouldered by the provincial governments. Because sir, hindi pa po naka-incorporate sa budget ng BJMP yung mga ganun. Yes, I understand. I understand. Uh, ito nga, Tol. Uh, this is the, yung uh, position ng uh, BJMP, kung narinig mo. Wala pa silang pundo pa sa dyan. So, yeah, loud and clear. Oh. So, kung pwede, doon daw muna sa LGOs. Um, so, Governor Kane, yeah, Governor Kane, you are recognized. 
Yeah, yung uh, expenses for the utilities po, uh, okay lang siguro during the transition period. Pwede uh, shouldered muna by uh, the local government. Tanong ko po, yung PS po, hindi naman po yun kasama doon sa sinabi ni Colonel kanina. Uh, yung PS po, uh, sa province din ba? Uh, while it is still uh, under transition period o sa kanila na? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as regards to personal services, while the provincial jail guards are still uh, under the provincial government during the transition period, uh, it follows, sir, that the PS will be also shouldered by the provincial government. However, sir, those who are qualified by using the qualification standards of the BJMP, the Bureau of Jail will absorb the qualified personnel and uh, will... Uh, uh, give them the rank of the uh, jail officer. Now, at that time, the PS will be shouldered by the PJMP. Yes, sir. Any comment, uh, Governor Kane? Yeah, even during the transition period, lahat ng mga qualified personnel, uh, the BJMP will absorb for their uh, salaries and other emoluments? Yes, sir. If they are qualified, sir, we will absorb the, all the qualified uh, personnel of the provincial jails. Yeah, very good. What about po yung pagkain ng mga PDLs? Uh, sir, just the same. During the transition period, uh, we will request the provincial governors to still uh, provide for the subsistence allowance of the PDL. Yeah, okay. Thank you. No further question, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Uh, So yung uh, transition period natin, kung uh, klaruhin natin, dalawa itong transition period. Yung transition period ng mga physical properties is six months. Tapos yung transition period doon sa uh, uh, personnel, gagawin natin uh, medyo mas mahaba. Four years for them to acquire a baccalaureate degree. Parang, uh, yes, sir. Mr. Chair? Yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, maybe last year, mga early, end of last year, I have talked with the uh, association of all uh, 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 provincial jail wardens nationwide. Uh, siguro mga more than tampo sila pumunta sa office ko. And nalaman nila about the, your bill na ito na nga, papa, parating na. So they, they seek my advice because of that problem, the issue of the absorption of the of the jail wardens, of the provincial jail wardens to the BGMP. Now, there are jail wardens at present who are retired generals also of the PNP and colonels of the military. So, therefore, they're already 56, more than 56 years old. Sabi ko sa kanila, you're no longer qualified because we only intend to absorb those who are qualified at the age of from 20, 21 years old up to 56, because that is the one. And then some of them have no uh, civil service uh, eligibility. So that is why they they want at least five years to yung transition for their, katulad sa PNP before, di ba? Nagkuan tayo ng yung mga dati nating mga enlisted men for five years transition para makatake sila ng college and examination later on for the civil service. Kasi yung iba doon is high school graduates. So if we have some ample time for their transition only for the absorption ng ating mga uh, wardens who are high school graduate. So that they can also earn their college degree within five years kung qualified pa sila. So yun yung mga uh, nakita ng problema for the jail wardens. And uh, uh, yun nga, for the means, uh, yung isang question pa na if they can be already accommodated, sabi ko, if Kung kaya ng manpower ng BGMP as of now, they are only around 15,000 now. And yung 2,000 na recruitment ngayon, is not, or, is hindi pa rin kaya to, to para mahabakan natin lahat ng provincial jails. Most probably, pag yung transition na yun, sila pa rin ang gagastos ng ibang provincial guards. Babakapan lang ng kunting pansigur ng BGMP personnel. So, hindi lahat ma-absorb ng BGMP yung manpower initially. So kaya nga may transition tayo para pag nag-recruit na tayo, magbigyan nyo na ng pondo for the recruitment of more than 2,000. Kasi 1,000 lang per year ang binibigay ngayon. Eh. 
kung maging 3,000 later on siguro, yun yung request natin for for the next two years para ma-absorb na natin lahat ng provincial jails. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Yes, Governor. Uh, Ani, go ahead. Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, quick, quick reaction lang. Uh, Civil Service Commission is here, present and listening, and some of the governors are still here. My, my, my proposal here uh, during the transition period is to, if, if BJMP is amenable, is to recruit solely from those who are residents of the province since they were maintaining the provincial jails before. So uh, it, it would uh, mean that if you're, for instance, from Agusan, uh, if a warden is not qualified for, for, a, for the transition period or even beyond, uh, the replacement should come from a qualified uh, civil service eligible from the province. So the, the, the attachment of a resident to a, to a, uh, a jail facility uh, protecting it, maintaining it, would, would still be in place. So my, my question is to this address to the Civil Service Commission. Kung pwede ba ba yun? Uh, under Republic Act 9263 na doon lang tayo kukuha sa locality ng uh, magmamando doon sa mga provincial jails. Civil Service, are you still there with the permission of the Chair? Yes, go ahead, uh, Civil Service. Uh, can you react on this? Yes, uh, good afternoon to the or good morning, rather, to the uh, chairperson and uh, members of the committee. Your Honours, uh, insofar as the existing provisions of law is concerned, if we compare it to the PNP law, uh, hindi po kasi station-specific ang mga positions na, na sa PNP, ano, such that they can be reassigned uh, nationwide, anywhere in the Philippines. So, dito po sa ating proposed na bill, uh, it is up to the wisdom of the uh, uh, Congress po if uh, they so desire. Pero sa existing po na setup natin, if we liken it to the PNP, uh, wala pong localization na ganun. Uh, hindi po station specific ang mga officers. Ibig sabihin po, kahit saan po sila uh, sa buong Pilipinas pwedeng i-reassign. Thank you, Attorney... Christian, salamat sa opinion mo. So, there... Thank you, Senator. So, so Mr. Chair, kung ang ilalagay po natin sa, sa measure ninyo ay uh, yung, yung mamumuno dun sa, sa mga former provincial jails na magiging BJMP absorb ay galing din dun sa locality, wala pong problema. Kasi napakahirap naman po yun na tigaagusan po yung na-assign na sa Ilocos Norte, eh medyo malayo-layo na po yun. Or uh, because this is a national, this is a nation, this is not a national position, but I I I I, I interpret this as a provincial position whose management is just being absorbed by BJMP. Tama po yes, ba uh, yeah, ta tama yun na uh, Senator Tolentino. Uh, I I think uh, yung uh, issue na yan is uh, can be taken care of by the Human Resource uh, Directorate of uh, BJMP. Kino consider po nila yan, yung localization, although they are national in scope, pwede ma-assign anywhere, pero binibigyan rin nila yan ng, ng uh, consideration, yung localization, para to be more effective. Alam na natin yan, na kailangan alam na alam yung area para magiging effective ka. May I recognize uh, General Rocamora? Thank you once again, Mr. Chair. Sir, as regards to the recruitment of uh, BGMP personnel, although the Position of a jail officer one is not station specific, meaning it can be he can be assigned anywhere in the Philippines. The BJP has this practice of uh, allocating uh, or giving quota per region, uh, dependent depending on the needs of that uh, particular region, on the needs of additional personnel. In case that uh, the provincial jails will be uh, given to the BJP, we can also give a specific quota to that province on how many personnel we will recruit. And we will give preference to the resident of that province to be appointed as jail officer one if he or she is qualified. Yes, okay, you, you effectively solved the problem of Senator Tolentino. Yes, Mr. Chair. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Salamat.
Thank you. Thank you, Senator Tolentino. Mr. Chairman. Yeah, if I may, before we continue, if I may, I, would, I just would like to read the silent pictures of uh, Senate Bill number 110. Nakalagay po dito, the existing employees and personnel of provincial and sub-provincial jails shall enjoy security of tenure and shall be absorbed by the BJMP subject to the qualification standards as provided for in RA number 9263 and other laws, rules and regulations of the Civil Service Commission. Those who will fail to comply with the qualification standards shall be given a reasonable period from the enactment of this act to complete the necessary requirements for the concerned position. So yun yung sinasabi natin na we are contemplating on uh, uh, making the transition period to four years or five years in order for, the, in order for them to acquire the necessary requirements sa sa baccalaureate degree kung kinakailangan. Ang problema naman dito, bigay ito na bigay ng five years then uh, wala na palang qualified by age doon sa mga existing ngayon na uh, gwardya. Kaya later on, magtatanungin ko yung mga governors natin, yung mga range ng uh, edad, yung age uh, range ng uh, kanilang mga uh, provincial jail, jail guards, kung ano ba, kung magkukwalify pa ba talaga ito. To continue, uh, employees opting to be separated from the service shall receive separation benefits in accordance with existing laws. So, yan po yun. So, going back to our governors, uh, matanong ko lang kayo, ano bang uh, age range ng inyong mga provincial guards ngayon? Baka mga retired police yung mga tao ninyo doon, o baka 56, uh, older than 56 years old, yung iba dyan. Uh, Governor Yu, anong... Anong tingin mo? Meron ka pa bang pasok na within the 30 years? 30 years ba yung kuha ninyo? 21 to, to 30. Uh, mag, tanong sana ako dyan sa ating mga gobernur kung may mga gwardiya pa ba kayong within that range 21 to 30? Existing ha? Yung ngayon? Gobernur Kane, uh, meron ka? Ano yung mga age range ninyo dyan? Ah, meron ka? Ah, meron daw dito. May listen to uh, General Rocamora. Yes, sir. Uh, with regards to age profile of provincial jail personnel, because uh, the BJMP requested the uh, provincial governors for the data of personnel in the provincial jail. Huh? So, age 20 to 25, they have uh, 164. Yes, sir. 26 to 30 years old, 218. And nationwide, then? Both Filipinas? Nationwide, sir. Okay, ulit nga. Sir, uh, for the age profile of provincial jail guards, uh, for 20 to 25 years old, they have 164. 164? Yes, sir. Okay. 26 to 30 years old, 218. 280. 30 to 35, they have 231. 36 to 40, 284. 40 to 45, 329. 46 to 50, 319. 50 to 56, 354. At mayroon pa rin sila, sir, na 57 years and above, 338. Ito, sir, yung mga retired na, sir, na nagiging special jail wardens nila. So, mayroon pa, mayroon pa magkukalipay? Yes, sir. Uh, based marami. on the age requirement of... Uh... BJP, yes, meron pa. And uh, we also, sir, counted the uh, government service. Uh, kahit na uh, malapit na sila, sir, mag-retire, in the comp uh, computation of the retirement benefits, com uh, com counted, sir, yung services nila as provincial jail guards. Okay. Thank you. And uh, uh, Meron pang information dito, there are 67 provincial guards absorbed or transferred to BJMP. Galing to sa inyo na data? Yes sir, that 67 provincial jail guards that we absorbed are those uh, qualified uh, jail guards.
from the provincial just that we have uh, already taken over by Bertio Bamoa with the provincial governors. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Ganda information ito. So, any more uh, about uh, General Kinsai? Go ahead, sir. sir. For the purpose of uh, planning, maybe additional uh, recommendation, uh, since the BGMP uh, Yung kanilang plan is also is to put up uh, municipal jails nationwide, di ba? So dapat meron tayong differentiate ng municipal jails and the provincial jails. Kasi for now, the BGMP has district jails. Since yung wala pa ito, yung, 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 bagong, yung, new setup, yung old setup nila, they have the district jails. Kasi may ibang municipality, municipality tayo na wala pang municipal jails. Ngayon, in case mabuo natin yung lahat ng municipal jails, dapat may distinct yung provincial jails. Ano yung pupunta dapat doon? For the meantime, yung provincial jails, kunyari, wala pang ibang municipality, they can uh, put their uh, PDLs sa provincial jail. Pero once na, kung, for the future planning to eh, now, kung meron ng lahat municipal jails nationwide, ano ngayon yung provincial, dapat meron tayong differentiate natin. Ano yung ilalagay sa provincial jails later on? Kasi, for the meantime, yung district, sabi ko, yung, we have district jails. Kung, yung iba kasi, dahil kukunti lang yung prisoners o, o, o PDLs, doon nilalagay sa district jail. Pero once na makompleto natin lahat nationwide yung municipal jails, dapat meron tayong differentiate kung ano yung provision natin, ano ba yung nagpa-qualify for the provincial jails. Yun lang. Uh, I think, uh, ginagawa na yan ngayon ng BGMP, di ba? Meron kayong classification of uh, PDLs as municipal City and provincial uh, uh, PDLs, di ba? May qualification. Paki, paki, nga, paki identify yung mga... Yes, sir. sir, ideally, uh, all cities and municipalities should have its own uh, city and municipal jails nationwide because that is mandated by Republic Act 6975. However, uh, for practical reasons, sir, because uh, it is not really economical and practical to establish uh, municipal jail in municipality, especially in the far-flung provinces, yung mga third-class municipalities, na wala naman, sir, na nakakulong na PDL. So, hindi na lang, sir, gumawa ng jail ang BGMP doon. However, ang aming alternative, sir, is we establish a district jail in a cluster of municipalities. Yun na lang, sir, ang para naiipon yung mga PDLs doon sa cluster of municipalities, kaya nagkaroon ng district jail. So, naging categorization po namin, sir, sa PDS ganito. Based on our BJMP manual, municipal prisoners, sir, who should be detained and serve their sentence in the municipal jails are those uh, sentenced with a penalty of one day to six months. So, yung mga ganun, sir, na kababa lang na kaso, dapat municipal prisoner ang kanyang category. Sa municipal jail lang, sir, sir. Uh, makukulong. And then, uh, the city prisoner are those uh, charged with offense punishable by crime by a penalty of one day to three years. So yung nasa ang mas mataas na kategory ng ating prisoner na sila ay dapat makulong sa ating mga city jails. However, sir, yung provincial jails, they are charged for offense punishable by a penalty of Three years and one day to six to three. Uh, no, sir. Uh, six months and one day to three years. So you know, sir, I'm not going to the provincial jails. Kla and the rest. Ko, ha, ko. These are only charged, not yes, yet convicted. Yes, ha? sir. Not yet convicted. Charged, palang sila. So yes, sir. Kila classify na ninyo according to the charges that they are being charged. Correct, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ito and yun. then, if they are convicted, and the. Uh, sentence imposed by the court is uh, three years and one day and above, that's the time that they will serve their sentence to the view court. Yan yung, sir, yung national prisoner na sir ang kategory nila. Ma municipal, city, provincial, provincial and national uh, uh, PDLs at yes, tawag natin dyan? Eh? Yes, sir. Uh, national and, PDLs. Yes, sir. And tama sir yung sinasabi ni Yusik Kinsay kanina na Doon sa mga district jail naman, sir, ang kinakategorize naman natin ng prisoner is nagkakahalo-halo na hanggang sa kategory ng provincial jail, sir, pwede naming ikulong sa aming district jail. Because ang district jail, sir, tsaka ang 
provincial jail, parang pareho lang yung kanilang setup eh, dahil they can accommodate PDL from different municipalities within the province. So ganun din sir ang setup ng district jail namin. Well, that, that, that is an exercise of a sound management uh, practice, di ba? Yes. Alam mo naman, walang gamit nung uh, jail na yun. Tapos yung isa, masikip na masyado. Eh, porque city, uh, porque municipal uh, PDL siya, hindi mo pwedeng ilagay doon na maluwag. Eh, talaga, eh, pwede mo isapol-sapol yan. Yes, Depende sir. sa masikipin natin doon. Yes, Kasi sir. ito maluwag. Eh, nasa inyo yan. O, kontrolado niyo lahat ng jails na yan. So pwede nyo ilipat-lipat. Tama, sir. Kaya, oh. sir, yung mga congested na municipal jails, pwede naming bawasan at ilipat doon sa ibang district jail na hindi pa masyadong congested para at least nababalance yung congestion rate. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. you very much. May we uh, hear from uh, si Yusik uh, Itchiberi? Andiyan yung kanina? Yusik Itchiberi? Yes, Mr. Chair. Good yes, afternoon. Go ahead. Have the floor. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Perhaps, Mr. Chair, we could recommend to the Secretary to come up with a memorandum circular to all local governments for the meantime that there is a transition, that they would uh, be that they should cover all the expenses for the meantime. That is true, of course, to the Office of Under Secretary Kinsai at the same time. We will recommend that, Mr. Chair, so that uh, all local governments who are not present here will be uh, well informed, Mr. Chair, as to the recommendations of the committee. Yes, uh, noted po. And you say, you say Kinsai is taking notes. Uh, gagawin po niya yan. But uh, anyway, once this uh, uh, bill be passed into law, uh, nakalagay naman talaga doon. Ilagay man talaga natin doon na kung sino magsasagot muna sa expenses while uh, ongoing yung transition. So, klaruhin natin yung transition period na sinasabi natin na expenses, yan yung six months na paglilipat ng mga physical properties at saka mga periso. Yung transition period na four years, yan yung para sa personnel, para maka-avail sila ng lahat ng mga necessary requirements for them to qualify as a member of BGMP. BGMP. Kasi kung gawin natin four years na uh, transition period yung physical properties, Masyado na yung mabigat sa LGU yan. Six years sila maggastos Six years silang magbayad mag, uh, ng kurinti ninyo na kayo na naman gumagamit ng uh, facility na yan. So six months lang ang nakakuha natin, pati yung pagkain ng preso. Kaya siguro sa mga uh, uh, gobernor ito. Uh, gobernor Yu. Go ahead. Naka naka mute ka, Governor Yu, please unmute. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead. Uh, nakalagay dito mga expenses, Mr. Chair, but I just want to clarify uh, with regards to the improvement of uh, the infrastructure or repairs of the uh, facilities. Uh, Pwede bang sa national government yun after the well, takeover of the BJMP or sa provincial government pa din? I, I think uh, nasa kakwa na yan, sa BJMP na yan dahil uh, turnover na nga eh. Na turnover na sa kanila. So sila na maghingi ng uh, undo para dito. Isa ay ikumpurit nila yan sa budget nila yung mga requirements for infrastructure dyan sa uh, lugar ninyo. Uh, Mahirap naman siguro kung kayo paggagastos, hindi na nga sa inyo yung property, binigay na ninyo sa BJMP, so sila na mag-produce uh, ng pundo para dyan. So I think we should uh, stay in the law, Mr. Chair. Yes, yes, Governor Rio. Dali. Uh, I think it's better that we should stay in the law, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, gagawin natin yan. Gagawin natin yan, uh, Governor Rio. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Uh, one last item. Uh, most of our provincial jails are located in near the capital, uh, perhaps in, in, in the capital, capital town or capital city. And I foresee that uh, a decade from now, this would be, even as I speak, this would be valuable pieces of real estate. So is the BJMP 
amenable to the proposition that the provincial governments will just uh, execute a deed of use of rock rather than donating the entire piece of property to the BJMP so, the, so that the provincial government would still be the owner of the real estate, uh, the, the piece of land. So, uh, in effect, what will be transferred will just be the use, but not the total beneficial ownership. So, para naman po yung ating mga kapitolyo, eh, may matira pang lupa kasi darating yung panahon na napakahalaga na po nitong mga uh, ganitong lupa, gaya po sa Cavite, sa Tresi Martires. Eh, darating po yung panahon na yung, yung lupang yun ay eh, talaga napakamahal. So, papayag po ba yung BGMP or uh, even your honor na instead of a, a total transfer or donation, give it to you na lang. Yes, uh, Senator Tolentino, may nakikita akong problema dyan eh. Kapag uh, uh, ganun, yung usufract lang ang ibibigay natin. Dahil alam ko, uh, pag hindi talaga donated yung title ng uh, lote, na uh, inoccupy nila, yung uh, BJMP cannot just uh, make improvements, hindi sila pwede mabigyan na pundo para paggawa ng building dyan dahil hindi titled sa kanila yung lote. Yan ang sabi ng kuwa. So, problema ngayon dyan, paano natin i-improve yung lugar na yan kung yusuprak lang. Dahil kuwa, uh, ang kuwa, sorry, Mr. Ang, dito bang kuwa? Nandiyan po ang kuwa. And then we, we can also ask the governors kung ang payag ba sila, halimbawa, 50 years use of rock or 60 years use of rock. So nandito po yung COA, we can ask the opinion of the Commission on Audit. Attorney Mar Maureen, Ann Maureen is here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Tultino. Please, uh, COA, Attorney Maureen, nandiyan ka? Uh, yes. Good morning, Kua? Mr. Chair. Yes, yes. go ahead. Yes, good morning, Mr. Chair, uh, your honors. First of all po, uh, the chairperson, again, I'd like to thank you po for the invitation uh, to attend in today's hearing, uh, but uh, extends his uh, for not being here today because of uh, work, uh, prior work commitment. So, Your Honors, uh, the, uh, the position of the Commission on Audit po, uh, is already finalized. Uh, first assured po that the that uh, we will submit po the, our position paper to the committee for consideration. As to the question po of uh, use of rock, we will look into that po. If, um, because we also have here for the auditors of uh, um, assigned to um, uh, Director Bakani is also here. Maybe um, he could answer po uh, with regard to the possibility of uh, use of rock po, the use of use of rock in the uh, possession po of the property being transferred. Yes, go ahead. Uh, you are recognized. Sino yung si the request mo? I see Director uh, Michael Bakani po, the auditor po ng Cluster 4 ng uh, Defense po and Security. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Director uh, Bakani? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Senator, uh, good morning po. Good morning. And to everyone who are present, uh, good morning. Uh, as regards po sa mga use of rock agreements, no? even COA has uh, use of rock agreements with some of the uh, provinces. Uh, kung saan po nakatayo yung aming provincial satellite audit office, yung ibang kalupaan doon po ay under use of rock agreement with COA. Ang, ang uh, ginagawa po ng COA is kami po ang nagbibuild ng sarili naming building and we provide for everything po, uh, even yung sa um, maintenance and other operating expenses. Uh, sa, sa tingin ko po, pwede po yung magkaroon ng use of rock agreement between BJMP and the provinces. Uh, pwede, ang use lang po ng lupa, actually ang uh, entitled, no, ang BJMP. As to the building and the maintenance po nung building na yon, yung mga facilities po doon, yung mga furnitures, uh, furniture and, and fixtures po, provided po yun ng BJMP. Pero dapat po, uh, specific doon sa use of rock agreement, kung uh, ilang taon yun na pwede nilang magamit, 
in case po ng mga pisaw po ng COA, 50 years po usually. Pero yung ownership po remains with the province. Yun po ang mga agreements namin as regards po sa use of rock ng COA po. Which I believe na applicable po sa lahat din ng other government agencies. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for that. So, very clear coming from you, ha? Na your opinion is that uh, kahit na USUPRAC agreement lang, the BJMP will be allowed to use its funds for the construction of any uh, infrastructure on that uh, land covered by USUPRAC agreement between yes. the LGO and the BJMP. So, wala yes. tayong problema dyan, ha? Dahil ang alam ko talaga noon sa PNP, Uh, title talaga, hindi, ayaw pumawag na, pumayag ng kuwa kung uh, yusuprak. Pero coming from you, okay na tayo dyan. Apo, ang uh, allowed, allowed ha? Allowed. Yes po. Ang importante uh, lang din po is paano po kung matapos na yung yusuprak, ang yusuprak agreement na yon Will the building be donated by the BJMP to the province or yung, yung ganun pong mga specifics ang importante? Okay. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, si, uh, kung muna, Gobernur Yu. Mr. Chen, uh, the concern of uh, Senator Tolentino is one, sir. Uh, medyo natamaan kami doon kasi malapit talaga yung provincial chain sa provincial capital namin. And if possible, sir, if, we, if the provincial governor and uh, public government can donate land no, within transition period na uh, i-transfer yung 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 Uh, area, can it be possible, sir, na uh, pwedeng doon na mag-construct ng bagong provincial chain financed by the BJMP? Pwede, siguro yun, pero uh, uh, bigay niyo eh. Bigay niyo sa bi yung lote na yan. So, pero for the meantime, kung hindi pa nakakonstruct ng uh, building doon sa limited lots ninyo, na pres uh, presumably ilipat talaga ang location pwede mo nang do muna sila sa present location ninyo uh, until such time na mga magawa yung building nila doon sa binigay ninyo na lote yung donated ninyo kung okay lang sa inyo yan yes sir yes sir uh, we are agreed to to sign the use of rap But if anyway that the provincial government can uh, give another area of which approved by the BGMP, uh, uh, pwede din yung, yun na yun ang i-donate namin. Yes, eh, hindi na kailangan ng USUPRAC agreement siguro kung may bibigay kayong lote na lilipatan. Ang pakiusap lang ng BGMP is habang hindi pa nagawa yung building doon sa uh, dinonate niyo na lote, uh, doon muna sila mag-occupy sa present location ninyo ngayon. So in that yes, in that matter, hindi na kailangan ng Yusuprak siguro kasi it will take ilang years lang ba para maggawa uh, ng uh, building doon sa bagong uh, lote na yan. So hindi na siguro kailangan uh, memorandum of understanding lang siya o memorandum of agreement lang gawin nyo dyan na kamitin muna lang yung present building ninyo ngayon, present location. Uh, what I mean, sir, hindi pa, hindi pa nagawa yung donation, mag-sign muna kami ng Yusuprak para... Valid naman yung pag... Uh, oh, that's very good. Very good. Uh, very much welcome ng uh, BJMP and uh, Gobernur. Yung gano'n na uh, uh, mag magawa muna kayo ng Yusuprak, agre Yusuprak Agreement. Uh, Sige, sir. BJMP? Thank yes, thank you. Thank you, Gobernur. Uh, you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we, I want to address the concerns raised by uh, the Honorable Senator Tolentino. Uh, we do understand, sir, that it is really hard for the provincial governors to let go of their properties yung mga provincial deals nila because most of them are located in the prime locations. Yeah. So that's why, sir, if the provincial government uh, uh, would not want to turn over to us the facility, uh, we request uh, the provincial gov gov governors to donate a lot uh, in order to BGMP to construct a jail facility and to transfer the PDLs from the old provincial jails. Meanwhile, sir, that there is not yet uh, a newly constructed provincial jail, uh, we request the provincial governor, so just uh, allow us to use the existing jail facilities. And maybe, uh, kung medyo magtatagal para maka-construct na new jail, jail facility, baka kailangan talaga, sir, na yung Suprac agreement. But kung ready naman, sir, yung malilipatan na, 
na lote at makapagpagawa ka agad ng bagong jail facilities, I think, sir, uh, for the meantime lang muna, at namuwa lang muna siguro, i-allow na paggamitin kami doon sa provincial jails nila. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Noted, uh, General Rocamora. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Salamat sa BJMP for acknowledging the LGU's right to uh, pursue local economic development kasi uh, marami talagang mga lugar na na yung jail facilities eh, katabi, natatakot magtayo ng halimbawa ng isang fast food o isang uh, Jollibee or McDonald kung katabi po yung preso. So, yun naman mga governor, eh, siyempre na, na ayaw din i-turn down yung mga possible investors sa kanilang malapit sa kanilang kapitolyo. Uh, kaya nagkaya merong ganitong kaaga pa lang, eh, dapat talagang na trash out na natin itong mga issues nito. So we thank the, the BJMP for acknowledging that uh, right of the governors and LGUs to pursue their own local economic development agenda. Salamat po. Thank you, uh, Senator Tolentino. Uh, any more? Uh, wants to... Uh, Mr. Senator, Chairman? Majority Leader, please, your recognize. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, kailangan ko lang uh, umaten ng isa pang hearing dun sa AGV and uh, other concerns. So I may have to go, but I'll put up a standing motion with the permission of my colleagues, Senator Tolentino, Senator Aimee, and uh, the others that are here, uh, other senators, that uh, we move to approve this on committee level, uh, of course, to uh, conduct a technical working group to improve the version after all the discussions here in this morning's uh, uh, hearing, all the inputs, and uh, so that you can already fast track the committee report, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so I have a standing motion that will be acted upon after the Second. end of your hearing. But uh, on record, uh, I moved uh, for its approval and uh, duly seconded by our colleagues. So there's a motion, and uh, I second at this early stage, Mr. Chair. Duly seconded by Senator Tolentino that uh, we you, have Chairman. to create a uh, technical working group to facilitate the improvement of this uh, bill. So, Maraming salamat, Mr. Chairman. And uh, sa ating mga governors, uh, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. May buntag. Uh, and uh, to all the uh, resource persons who attended, thank you so much. Chairman, dagan salamat, Chairman. Thank you. My colleagues, thank you. Thank you, uh, Majority Leader. Uh, you are now excused. Dahil <laughs> busy ka. May ulitatan ka pang committee hearing. Salamat. Salamat po. Thank you. So, uh, so far, uh, my information tayo dito that uh, governors so informed this committee that they are in favor of the transfer uh, of their uh, provincial jails to the BJMP. We have Governor Albert Garcia of Bataan, Governor Francisco Matugas of Surigao Norte, Governor uh, Jose Lacson of Negros Occidental, and uh, of course, itong ating Mga magagaling na gobernur nandito ngayon, mga gobernur San Caraga, gobernur uh, Ike Pimentel, gobernur Santiago Cane ng uh, Agusan Sur, si Ike Pimentel ng uh, Surigao Sur, at saka si gobernur uh, Victor uh, Yu ng Sambuanga del Sur. Uh, they are uh, also in favor. So, anymore? Uh, sino pang may gustong sasabihin? Wala na, from BJMP. Yung uh, kuwa pala, balikan natin yung kuwa. Kuwa. Andiyan pa yung kuwa? Wala na, wala na yung kuwa natin? Pakani, Dulay, Kihano. Andiyan kayo, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, ah... Uh, as expected, uh, kayo, re, kayo, kayo, kayo rin yung uh, kwan, kayo talaga yung uh, merong uh, uh, dissenting opinion para sa bill na ito. Uh, at DBM pala. Ay, di pala kuha. Sorry, sorry. Ito yung DBM. Uh, Jocelyn de la Cruz. Andito siya? Ma'am Jocelyn de la Cruz? Hindi pala kuha ang dissenting opinion. DBM pala. So wala na. Pakinggan, kasi, pakinggan sana namin kayo. Baka just in case, nagbago yung uh, stand ninyo. Pero wala na. 
Yes, uh, go ahead, General uh, Kinsay. Final word Kinsay. lang. Uh, sir, in behalf of the DILG, uh, Secretary Anyo and the whole DILG, with General Iral, I'd like to thank the August body, the Senate, headed by the Chair, Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, for spearheading this uh, bill in uh, the transferring of the provincial jails to the BGMP. There, uh, it will be a, uh, a welcome development for the BGMP. And this will uh, prove that our government is really working for the people. So again, thank you very much. And we hope uh, we, the BGMP, given the additional manpower and the resources, they will surely can uh, provide the necessary uh, uh, responsibilities in handling the provincial, provincial jails. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you, uh, Yusek Kinsay. I just would like, bago natin makalimutan ito, I just would like to spread the records na meron tayong natanggap dito na uh, letter coming from uh, uh, Republic of the Philippines, Provincial Jail Warden Association of the Philippines Incorporated, Office of the PJWAP President, Laguna Provincial Jail, Barangay San Pablo, uh, Santa Cruz, Laguna. Uh, for the record, uh, they are opposing for the uh, enactment of this uh, bill. Of this, ayaw nila. So, ito yung mga association. Uh, uh, sana meron silang representative dito? Na online? Anungin natin dahil uh, ito nga, BJMP, okay, mga governors, uh, okay, payag lahat ng governors. Itong uh, mga jail warden siguro, ito yung mga natitreaten din na uh, mawala ng trabaho dahil uh, uh, hindi sila mag-qualify na magiging uh, member ng BJMP. We, we understand their uh, plight. Uh, siguro this, this will be taken up sa technical working group na lang kung paano natin ito i-consider. Yes, uh, during, uh, meeting, during the dialogue with them nung last year, ang sabi ko sa kanya, those who will not be absorbed, sana po, ma-absorb ng, ng governor's office, yun yung provincial government. Kasi nga, kawawa naman yung nakapag-serve for more than how many years in service. Sabi ko sa kanya, if they are qualified, they can be absorbed. But if not, they can retire with, with, but with, the, with the incentive in retirement benefits. Yun yung dapat na ikaw natin sa kanila. Pat, hindi sila din ma masamangan ng loob. So, sana yun yung mga concern nila na narinig ko dati. No, is yung uh, absorption nila at saka mabigyan sila ng ample time para makapagpa ng kanilang uh, uh, mga kakulangan na uh, civil service eligibilities. So, yun po yung kanila talagang concern. Pero, uh, hearing that, I think if they will be given the proper benefits, I think they will also exceed with your, with your bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Yusik Kinsay. Uh, uh, andito po ba si Mr. Percival Tome ng, uh, ng DOF? Kung meron, andito pa, uh, we'll give you the floor. Andiyan na? Andiyan? Wala na? DOF. Nawala na. So, I think uh, we have already taken up a lot of uh, uh, issues pertaining to these uh, three bills that uh, we have tackled today and uh, uh, yung nitigriti na lang nitong uh, mga bills na ito eh, to be taken up sa technical working group uh, there was a motion and there was a seconded that uh, technical working group will be created to fast track the improvement of this uh, bill these bills. So, yun na lang siguro. Uh, in behalf of this committee, I would like to thank sa lahat ng mga uh, resource person natin nandito ngayon. Uh, Nag-hold the line si Yusik Echeberry, si Governor Kani, si Governor Yu, si Governor Ike Pimentel, si Senator uh, Amy Marcos, and uh, si Attorney Christian uh, ang uh, civil service 
Uh, maraming maraming salamat thank, sa inyo. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, if I may uh, make yes, a go manifestation po. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, your, your Honor, uh, may I just state for the record that aside from the comment given today in response to the inquiry of the uh, committee, uh, the Civil Service Commission has earlier submitted through email last March 12, 2020, a comment dated March 10, 2020. So basically, Your Honor, uh, the Civil Service Commission supports uh, the proposed bill subject only to the two uh, suggestions that were already discussed a while ago, Your Honor, particularly. Uh, to specify a period within which uh, those who will be absorbed may be given opportunity to meet the uh, eligibility requirements or qualification standards for the position under the uh, BJMP ranks, uh, as well as the concern on uh, the receipt of benefits or eligibility uh, for retirement of those who will be absorbed or uh, will not be absorbed uh, in the uh, uh, in the proposed bill your honor, or transfer to the BJMP rather. We have submitted a copy, your honor, uh, through email last March 12, 2020. Thank you, your honor. Thank you, attorney. Maraming salamat. Uh, how about uh, attorney Cesar Gerdoki? You, you want to say something? Please, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, it is all... Uh uh, uh, said by my director, Attorney Christian. So everything he says was already in our position paper on the proposed bill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Again, nagpapasalamat ako sa inyong lahat ng mga resource persons na dito ngayon, my fellow senators, uh, at uh, lalong-lalo na yung ating mga gobernador na talagang binigyan tayo ng time na makisali dito sa discussion natin sa ating committee. Maraming salamat, Gobernur Kane, uh, Gobernur Ike Pimentel. Salamat sa iyong tanan. Thank you and uh, the meeting is uh, adjourned.